I have to talk about these things for a second. I, uh, I have to get out a whole bunch of shit that I feel and think about. Smartphones. This is one of the most miraculous things that has ever been created to this day and we are using them incorrectly, <laughs> I think. I think people are using these things way, in a, in a very backwards way. Um, why are we addicted to these things? Why are we addicted to our fucking phones? I'm addicted to it, right? I kind of have to constantly use it because it's a big part of my work, it's a big part of getting gigs and, and getting any sort of job um, with music or performing. Uh, most of my gigs have come through Instagram, through text, through call, talking to somebody in person is not really a thing. Any I mean, it's a thing, but it's it's so easy and convenient to just like phone a place up or, or send a text message or, or whatever that, that people doing things in person feels very, you know, different nowadays. And, and I'm such a face-to-face -face kind of personality. So I um, I go back and forth with this shit because this, this is absolutely amazing. We have access to to video, taking video, audio, looking up anything we could ever imagine on the internet, if you can think it, and it's on the fucking server that is on Google, it's online, you can find it, you can find an answer to almost any sort of, anything that's happened in history, any sort of, uh, of, of documentation of the history of our entire existence in our world can be accessed on this thing within a couple of minutes. That is fucking crazy. It's absolutely fucking crazy mad crazy how um amazing these things are and yet people use them to, to look at memes and look at at you know things that are kind of melting our our brains it's a lot of brain rot it is the problem with the uh, with the internet the, there's a lot of brain rot the internet and smartphones are kind of like literally a synonymous thing at this point so it's kind of hard to talk about smartphones without talking about the internet in and of itself but smartphones have have come such a long way, I'll never forget, like when the iPhone first came out, I waited in line with my dad when he lived up in Westchester, New York. I, l I waited in line with him and someone actually paid me, like I think a hundred bucks to save their place in line. So I made some money just by going away. I didn't end up getting a phone, I was just with my dad, he was excited, I was like a kid, so I didn't really need a, a fancy cell phone at that point. But um, seeing where the first one started and then where they've ended up when i was when they first came out i was just impressed with how sleek and how smooth the touch screen was and how 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 nice it looked it just looked super fancy and now we got 4k video and 5g and just like all this shit on here and it's come so far and it's and, and it, the one thing that freaks me out about it is the like where is it going to go is there going to be the next smartphone that kind of destroys like is there going to be another invention down the road that that makes smartphones obsolete at that point are we going to get implants in our brains and, and is it all just going to be kind of like uh, a constant screen and our or a constant way of communicating just through our brain waves and all that shit is that is that where we're going to go i don't know um i go i have, I have such strong mixed feelings about about this shit because the smartphone is 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 one of the most necessary things it it, it keeps people i don't want to say it keeps people safe it just makes it easier to communicate with with each other better it makes it makes being in touch with others way easier i mean i remember you know as a kid to hang out with somebody you had to call their their house and maybe talk to their parents for a second you had to just go and knock on their door there was a completely different way of life when i was growing up pre smart you know we still had cell phones home phones but there was no constantly being on a screen because you had to go out into the world to have any sort of social interaction so the lack of that forced people to be in front of each other more forced people to to interact face to face and i and i genuinely miss that there are a lot of people that i have relationships on with i have relationships with them on social media or i have friends on socials and I only talk to them via text. There are so many people, I don't think I've ever had a phone conversation with them or talked to them on FaceTime ever once. People that, other people that are artists or other musicians that I've met um, online and shit. And that's not a big deal. Like, it's okay to have this kind of like half friend, half like just person on the internet relationship. Like, we have all these different levels and different like ways of how we look at relationships and, and, and friendships with other other people. So it's, it's, it's not a big deal that, that that's that's a thing. I think 
What freaks me out is people only care about that. They only care about who's on their phone. Like anytime I go out to a bar or go out in public in general, it feels like trying to be friendly with people in general or trying to be like, uh, you know, have, have a simple like one person to the other, one person to another, having a simple conversation feels like, you know, like like people are just shocked by it. a lot of times i try to have like these fun social interactions with others or or um just try to have like a, a nice like ha like funny friendly moment and 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 people have this fucking wall that they put up they have this like weird social a lot of people are just socially fucking weird nowadays and i don't know why i'm such a direct personality i'm such a straightforward person that I don't do well with the these bullshit social games that people have. People have such weird little social fucking idiosyncratic things that they do that piss me off because I am your friendship is not worth jumping through hoops for. Being having someone in my life is never worth working to have someone in my life. I like I have I have so much I feel so much contentment contentment and I feel very happy in being on my own, that if I'm gonna be with other people, if I'm spending time with other human beings, I have to feel like it's worth it. I have to feel like it's worth my time because most people nowadays are just socially fucking strange and I'm, and I'm very annoyed by it more so than anything because then it makes me overthink like, did I do something weird? Am I being fucking awkward am i being socially like backwards am i a fucking weird person am i a fucking freak like other people are so off-putting that they make me feel like a fucking freak and i'm not i'm just so like honest and i'm such a in your face person i'm in your fucking face because fuck you fuck your stupid fucking walls fuck trying to like look at another human being and think that they're not worth your time like fuck you Every single person deserves respect. Most people, at least, maybe not everybody, but most people deserve respect. They deserve your attention. They deserve an ear that's listening. They, like, we just gotta be more gentle with each other. And I think it's so important to be more, like, just have a, a nice warm energy with one another. And going back to the smartphones, this is this is a poison that is, is separating people. Obviously, this is nothing new that people have said. I've probably said this, and, couple podcasts, probably this is my, probably my third or fourth time repeating myself saying this, in a time where we are able to connect with each other so easily, we're more disconnected than ever, there's an issue of loneliness apparently, it's, it's crazy, it's fucking crazy how people are, are, are just, and again, you know, of course there's issues with stalking, there's issues with people hacking into your personal information, that completely justifies what people wanting to be off have an off-putting energy. It's understandable for very attractive women, very attractive people in general, to be off-putting because they assume everyone is just gonna wanna like, be in their space, and everyone's gonna want uh, to, to be involved in their lives. And, and that's the thing is, people hold others in this, in this pedestal in their minds. They hold other people as so important being this, oh my God, you're such a, oh my God, you're such an important fucking person. Can I please, just, can I please be your friend? Can I be in your life? I just want to be your fucking friend. It's sad. It's fucking sad and pathetic. No other person is better than the other. No one person is higher in life or or ahead of you in any way. And and this this having to like earn people's attention or earn people's friendship like it's a reward. Like your friendship is a fucking reward. Get the fuck out of here. Are you fucking kidding me? There's not a single person, even my like idols, even my heroes like Paul McCartney or certain people, they're just people to me. They're not like this higher godlike being that that I should that I'm unworthy. It's not a Wayne's world. We are unworthy situation. No. Like it's it's just we're all just fucking animals that have developed this uh, insane sentience and knowledge of 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 ourselves and knowledge of, of the world that we live in. Everything else is just fun, extra, you know, little extra uh, sides on this wonderful dish of life. So, yeah, it's it's my main issue or my main uh, problem with smartphones is just the
this like self-aggrandizing, um, self-righteous energy that it's given a lot of people. I'm fucking at fault for this too. Me making these videos makes is me saying that what I have to say is important enough for people to listen to. It's a bit of a fucking self-righteous thing, isn't it? It's it's absolutely ridiculous to think that any of us is this special being that anybody actually matters more so than the other person. We're all the same. We're all gonna fucking die. <laughs> Nothing matters. It's okay. It's totally fine to be uh, just a person. You're. We're all just fucking people. So, um, yeah. This 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 has zero power. This only has as much power as we will give it. It'll only have as much power as we want it to have. And the attention, the eyes, and the constant like paying attention to other people is where people have that power trip and have that, oh, I'm a very important person. Oh, I have millions of fans. Oh, look at how important I am. Look at how fucking uh, interesting I am. I have, My life has more meaning because all these people know who I am. It's fucking all lies. These are lies that you're telling yourself if you think that you're this special being that is God's gift to the earth. No one is, is anything. No one fucking owes anything to anybody and, 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 and really it's all just with ourselves. All life is, is purely lived from our own specific point of view and your point of view is the most powerful thing that you can have. Your opinions of yourself and your opinions of others are very powerful things but it's gonna go go away when we're all fucking rotting in, in the ground six feet under. So whatever like uh, who the fuck cares what people think on here who the fuck cares what people are doing we should look at this as fun carefree like a recess i look at this as the same thing as like recess in elementary school this should be a fun little break from the stress of our lives and a fun little like that's the beauty of it is like oh people killing time when they're at work people waiting for someone let me go look at a couple of like reels on instagram let me go look at a couple of bullshit little like minute long videos on tiktok or youtube i don't use tiktok i think it fucking sucks i hate the interface but youtube and instagram i, I go on these things a bit facebook facebook is a great like what are the people that i know you know, going through what, what what's going on in their lives. People post very sad news on there. They post like information. It's crazy how Facebook is. I almost am on there still because I'm like, who's who's alive? Who isn't? I found out like a lot of people. I found out how many people have like passed away that I've known that I've spent time with. I found out that they died on Facebook or on social media, and that's important to me. It's important to me to know if somebody is still around or not, or somebody is, uh, you know going through something people announce like when they get cancer and horrible fucking things like that they announce that online that to me i care enough about the people in my life to want to keep tabs on these things i want to keep i want to get updated on their lives that's all that it should be is updating each other on what's going on and nothing more it's it just shouldn't be taken so seriously this should not be taken so seriously because again i'm 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 not underestimating the rapid pace of technological advances that we are having in our world. And I'm, I would be very surprised if these things even fucking matter 20 years from now. If people are still using smartphones and it's like this main central thing 20 years from now, I'll be very shocked because I'm, I'm, I have a strong feeling that something else is gonna come and wipe that away just as much as the internet wiped away television and radio. So things constantly evolve, things constantly change. You're like, um, your history of things that you've done on here is only really going to matter to you and it's only going to matter to the people that know you personally. The, the scary thing with that is once people get popular enough that people are like looking up IP addresses and stalking them and, and, and uh, tormenting them, trolling them. That's, that's the other downside of these things is how you know, people are just so ruthless on there and so evil. It, it's, it's created an unnecessary evil um, in the world because people are, are significantly more heartless and people are significantly more um, desensitized. The, the issue with these things as well as smartphone is, is, is people are so desensitized to what's happening in the world and it all becomes a fucking joke and a fucking meme at the end of the day. And it's just sad and pathetic. It's really sad and pathetic that our, our entire existence as a human race has, be, has come down to 
just po pointing a finger. It feels like everyone's just pointing a fucking finger and going, ha ha! Like, what's his face from the fucking Simpsons? Nelson from the Simpsons. Like, just, ha ha! Is, is what the entirety of our human existence has come down to. I mean, people make constant jokes about tragic events every single day. And, um, it's just sad more than anything else. Like, not that I'm opposed to dark humor or people making fun of tragedies. I mean, it's, it's how we keep our sanity in a lot of ways. Laughing at tragedy is the only way we don't crumble from the weight of it. Or it's one of the few things that helps us not, like, absolutely just fall apart from it. So, I don't know. This, this, this is, uh, I am so passionate about these things. And I'm very passionate about this topic because I... Uh, I, I, despite how I might seem as a person, I care deeply for this world. I care deeply for all of us going through this life, and I and I want things to be better. I want th people to treat each other better. I want people to not be so guarded as much as they as much as they have been. Maybe you know, maybe that's just me. Maybe I feel that other people are being guarded and maybe that's my insecurity of not wanting to go out of my way. But I, I tried to do that when I was growing up, even when I was growing up before like smartphones, people are just like super unfriendly sometimes. And uh, maybe it's, that has nothing to do with smartphones. Maybe people are just fucking dicks, stupid fucking dicks that think their lives are more important than others when they're not. And, um, yeah, whatever. Basically, something I try to remind myself of every day, what I will leave this video with is, or end this video on is, is these things are fun and they're enjoyable and they are a big part of how I've had a lot of different relationships and friendships with people, but take it all with a grain of salt. Don't be on this constantly. This shit is a fucking brain rotting waste of fucking time. Unless you're making money with it, or and that's the other issue too, is people make money on the internet, and people make money with their virality and their, or, uh, their uh, you know, internet fame, when really internet fame is fucking nothing nowadays. Um, so, the, the, the amount of brain rot that this is causing is just very scary to me, and I, and I think that people should stop using these as much, and when we are, when we are using it, just look at it as a carefree, fun little bullshit thing. That's all I have to say about it, so take it easy.